click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today what I am going to teach is what all are the steps which are used in making a two box sand mold. Like you need to make a sand mold containing two boxes. So what is the step from start to end with the diagrams you can see on the video. So firstly what you do, you keep your drag in the place. Drag consists of sand. But before keeping the sand, you use some parting sands. What the parting sand actually does, it just separates the base surface with your actual sand. So you sprinkle some parting sand in it and then you put on your sand. So it helps to keep a small distance so that your sand do not stick exactly to the base of your drag. So in this way, parting sand helps your sand to not stick. So in this picture, what you can see, you can see your drag, exact drag, which is the down part. Then you can see a rammer. Then there are some adjusting pins, sand is filled and beneath that sand, there are some parting sands. So this is the actual arrangement which is to be done in the drag part. So in the diagram, it is clearly seen all the parts are mentioned. So one by one, when I will talk, just go and see the diagram also. So in this process, what you do? As I have told, parting sand is being parted, is being kept down, then actual sand is added. So as soon as you go on adding the sand, some vents are provided in it. So why vent is used in an actual purpose? You have your molten gases coming inside due to the molten metal coming inside. So you need these gases to escape. So there should be some vents so that these gases can come out easily. Venting is to be done on a clear basis, on a regular basis, and on each intervals of your upper surface. So venting is done and then what you do is you use your strike off bar. As we have studied it in the tools, strike off bar is used to make remove the excess material. So as soon as you're ramming it done, you're putting the sand, ramming it, putting the sand, ramming it, then you give vents. Vents are what? It is exactly small holes. So you give the ram, then you give your vent. Then the excess material you should have to strike off. So in this way, strike off comes in picture. So as I have told you, venting is done till the base so that when excess gas reaches the base, so it comes out. So venting is done till the base and excess material is striked off. Then what exactly is shown in the picture is after venting, your spruce is added. So what is to be done? A hole is being provided in your drag as well as in your coat so that it facilitates your spruce it facilitates your spruce cavity so that a spruce can be added and other process can be done. So till now what we did, we did parting sand ka part, we put sand, we vented it, then we use your spruce and then we'll go to the further process. So as the spruce edge is prepared, like the spruce cavity is prepared, you prepare the runner cavity and with the gate cutter, you make different gates. You make riser cavity. So such kind of thing is done in both the drag as well as cope as you have prepared your drag in the same manner you have to prepare your cope also same manner venting filling the sand parting the sand all the things same in the cope as well as drag the cavity of the spruce as well as the gate as well as the riser should be there in both the cope as well as drag so all these things is prepared assembled together clamped together and hence your mold is ready. So in this way, a two box mold becomes ready for your casting process. And if a core is needed in that casting, then a core slot is made or a core is added in that slot and a core print is there for their support. So in this way, a core helps in making a complex object. When a simple object is to be made, no core is required. So without core, the cavity is made. But if core comes in picture, the same thing has to be done with the core also. And as I said, there is a core print which gives supports to the core. So after all the assembly part is done, it is clamped, all the excess particle is removed and now the mold box is ready for pouring of the metal. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.